His name is so the good God. He's a very faithful and a just God. Do you know who Jesus Christ is? His name is the Savior. His name is the Redeemer. His name is the Comforter. Do you know whom he is? He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer. He is our Comforter. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is a great God. Today, Jesus Christ loves us. And he said to Apostle Paul, But go to Damascus. Go to the street that is called Straight. You will see one Ananias. He will tell you what to do. Today, we are that Ananias today. And we want to tell you what to do. What you got to do is just receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That's all you got to do. Receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That's all you got to do. When you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then it shall be well with you. The word of God says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. So when you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then it is well. It is well. And it is well for your soul. So we want you to be well for your soul. Just as Jesus Christ, the Lord, wants you to be well for Apostle Paul. And he said to him, go to the street that is called Straight, and you will see Ananias. And that's why today we are bringing the message to you. Maybe you do not know we are to get, we are to go to church. But we bring the message to you today on the street. And we say to you, Jesus Christ love you. And we say to you, Jesus Christ is Lord. is the King of Kings. And we say to you that Jesus Christ come to save to save you, to set you free. Because he's the salvation. He's the savior of our soul. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. He's a just God. So why I need to remind you now? Here's what Christ says, tell me. Why I need to remind you now? Stop in the wall. The Bible says in the last day there will be wars and rumors of war. That's what the Bible says. In the last day there will be war and rumors of war, because we're on the last day. Yes, wars and rumors of wars. That's what's happening today. The word of God must surely come to fulfillment, brother. There must be war, there must be, there must be rumors of war. This is a sign of the second coming of Christ. The war you are hearing today, the rumors of war you are hearing today, is a sign that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Is a sign that Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. Let me tell everybody there will be more wars, there will be more rumors of wars. Because that's what the Bible says. That there will be wars, there will be rumors of war. Get ready for that. More wars is coming, more rumors of wars is coming because it is prophesied. And the word of God is yes and amen. The word of God is truth. Today is the day of salvation. That's why we come to you today. That you should make haste while the sun shines. You must make haste. The sun is shining now. Make haste while the sun is shining. So that you know that you are taking on away. You don't want to be taken on away. That's why we are here today to bring the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we are in the last day. And the word of God says, Nations will rise against nations. Hindu will rise against kingdom, and there will be wars and rumors of wars in the last days. And this is the last days we are in, everybody. Jesus Christ is Lord, and Jesus Christ wants us to repent from our sins because the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking and it's ticking fast. Today is the day of salvation. Today is acceptable day. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is coming soon. He is coming soon. He is coming soon. He is coming soon. All the predictions, you know it, brother, that there will be war and rumors of war. You know that you understand that. And you can see it with your eyes that there is war and that is rumors of war. And you can always understand, brother. You can understand, brother, there will be more wars and there will be more rumors of wars. 
So when you see it, you know the coming of the Savior is very close. When you see the signs of wars and hear of wars and rumors of wars, you know the coming of Messiah is very, very close. Therefore, all you need to do, brother, is to repent from your sins and to receive Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior because He loves you so much. He's a great God. Therefore, today is the day of salvation. You know what the Bible says? That the grace of God that brings salvation have appeared to all men. That grace of God that brings salvation to all men has appeared. So the grace of God has come and is teaching us that we should. And, and the Bible says that the, 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 grace, the grace of God is here to help us, to bless us, to strengthen us, and to lift us up. Our God is a good God. We are in the last days, everybody. We are really, really in the last days. We are in the last days, everybody. Today is a day of salvation. You must believe in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. He is a great God. He is a faithful and a just God. Today is the day of salvation. You must believe it because Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever and ever and ever. He never fell. He never changed. It is predicted. It is predicted that there will be war and rumors of war. In your eyes, you are seeing it happening today. What caused the war? Nothing. But because it is predicted that there be wars and rumors of wars. The Bible says that nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Then you know, when you see the nations arising against nations, and when you see kingdom arising against kingdom, you know that the last days has come. You know that the day of the Lord is nigh. The Bible says, give your life to Jesus Christ today. We are in the last days. The last days is now. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you, brother. God bless you. We are in the last days. The last days is now. Jesus Christ loves us so much. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us, to save us, to set us free. Today is that day, the day of salvation. Jesus Christ loved loved you with an everlasting love he cared for you and then he said to you come unto me come unto me all you that labors and all you that are heavy laden the word of god says i will save you and i will set you free today is a day of salvation freedom comes in the name of god freedom is in the name of god healing is in the name of god Deliverance comes in the name of God. Salvation comes in the name of God. Our God is faithful. Our God is wonderful. As you are buying and selling, you should buy, you should receive the word of God freely today. Receive the word of God freely, everybody. Receive the word of God freely. The word of God is freely. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is faithful. Today is the day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. Our God is great. Our God is faithful and just. It is a good day. Let us receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior today. And all is going to be well with us. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Redeemer. Jesus Christ is the Comforter. He's a great God. And there is none like Him. He is wonderful. He is glorious. He is gracious. Today is that wonderful day. Today is that beautiful day. It is great, brother. It is great to know that we are in the last days. And it is great to know that the grace of God is here, that the grace of God has come for the salvation of every one of us. Jesus love you, brother. God bless you. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. It is great to know. It's a good thing. It's a great thing for us to know. That the grace of God have come to bring salvation to all of you in the market. This grace of God is, is Jesus Christ himself. He came to give you salvation. Jesus Christ came to give you salvation. Our uh, God is a good God. God bless you, ma'am. Jesus love you. And I love him too. You love him too. God bless you. Our uh, God lives and reigns. 
There is no one like him. He is great. He is faithful. He is just. He is kind. Our God is highly exalted. Our God is highly glorified. Our God is highly magnified. His name is lifted up above every other name. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Word of God says that Jesus Christ loves you. Unto the Lord will I lift up my eyes. Lift up your eyes unto Him. That God that is in heaven, the Bible says, as the eye of the servant look unto the master, and the eye of the maid look unto the mistress, so our eyes look unto the Lord until he have mercy. Have mercy upon us, Lord. God bless you. As the eye of the servant, God bless you, sister. Look upon the masters and the eye of the maid. Look upon the mistress. So our eyes is fixed unto the Lord. And the word of God says, until he have mercy. Until he have mercy. And have mercy upon us. Jesus Christ is wonderful. Jesus Christ is great and gracious. God bless you. Our God lives and reigns. He is wonderful. He is excellent. He is marvelous. Today is that day. Today is the day of salvation, brother. Jesus is coming soon, brother. God bless you, brother. Jesus is coming soon. Today is the day of salvation, everybody. You gotta repent from your sins and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. Jesus loves you, sister. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. This is the day, the day the Lord has made. The Bible says you must rejoice. Rejoice in what? Rejoice in the salvation of God. God bless you, brother. God bless you. You must rejoice. Rejoice in the salvation that Jesus Christ has bring to you. Because it is that wonderful day of salvation. And the Bible says, rejoice. Rejoice, all you children of God. Rejoice in the salvation of God. Because that grace has come to give you salvation. Today is that day. Today is a faithful day. Therefore, the Bible says, rejoice. Rejoice, I say it in the Lord. Rejoice. You must rejoice in the Lord. Because this day is come. The day of joy. Be happy. Because Jesus Christ has given you opportunity, another day, for you to call unto His name. This is another day, this is another opportunity for you to call unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. It is another day, it is another opportunity for you to call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that whosoever that call on the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ will be saved. If you call upon the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, you will be saved. So call upon his name today, wherever you come from. Save every one of us. Therefore, when you call upon his name, whoever you are, wherever you are coming from, wherever city you are come from, whatever language you speak, whoever that call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he will Say, our God is a good God. There is no one like unto Him. He is Lord. He is great. And He is merciful. He is a just God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is the Redeemer. Therefore, call upon His name today, and you will be saved. Our God lives and reigns. Jesus is Lord. He's alive. He's great, and He's faithful, and He is just. Therefore, today, call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. It is assured, guaranteed. It is guaranteed that when you call upon his name, you will be saved. Remember, we are in the last days. We are really, really in the last days. You can see what's happening today in the whole world. Mm. That will show you that the day is nigh. The day is very, very nigh, ladies and gentlemen. The day is nigh. So you must call upon the name of God to be saved. You must call upon Him. His name saves us. His name delivers us. 
His name is great. His name is faithful. Our God is a good God. You're going to be ready. You're going to repent from your sins. You're going to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Because Jesus Christ loves you. Because Jesus Christ cares for you. And that is why he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. You want everlasting life? This is the day. You want eternal life? You want to go to the kingdom of God? This day is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. God wants you to go to the kingdom of God. God wants you to receive eternal life today. Not tomorrow, but today. The today, the day, eternal life is for you today. If you can receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, eternal life is for you today. Today is a day of salvation, brother, sister. Jesus Christ loves you and He saved you and He loves you so much. It's a day of salvation, everybody. Our God lives and reigns. And there is no one like unto God. Therefore, come to the Lord today. Come to Jesus Christ. Come and receive him today as your personal Lord and Savior. And then you will be saved. The word of God says, As the eye of the servant look unto the master, as the eye of maid look unto the mistress, so our eyes is fixed unto the Lord. Where do you fix your eyes? Do you fix your eyes on the government? Or do you fix your eyes on your brothers and sisters and your friends? What a friend we have in Jesus. Let Jesus be your friend today. Make Jesus Christ your friend and you will be saved. If you can make Jesus Christ your friend today, he will save you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and sorrows he bear. What a privilege to carry, to take everything to God in prayer. He's a good friend of us. He's a friend of us. He's lo he loves us so much. Our God is a good God. Therefore, today is the day of salvation. Don't wait till tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, don't wait till tomorrow. Just accept it today. Accept Jesus Christ as Lord today. He is Lord. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. He is the King of Glory. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. That is not like Him. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns. Jesus never fell. From everlasting to everlasting, Jesus Christ never fell us. Jesus Christ never disappoints. Jesus Christ never changed. From everlasting to everlasting, Jesus Christ never changed. From eternity to eternity, Jesus Christ never changed. Therefore, the same he is yesterday. The word of God says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same today, and he is worthy to be praised. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. Jesus Christ is the same today, and Jesus Christ is the same forever. He is the same today, and worthy to be praised. He is the same yesterday. He is the same Jesus, the same Savior, the same healer. The same deliverer. Our God is the same. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. And He is worthy, worthy to be praised, worthy and worthy to be glorified, worthy and worthy to be lifted up on high. He is the same today. And He is worthy and worthy to be praised. I give God praise. Worship in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Because He died for us. He died to set us free. Today is a day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. He is still the same, unchangeable God. He still loves you. Even though you've not loved Him, He still loves you. Jesus Christ loved Apostle Paul. Even though when He did not love Him, He still loved Him. He still cared for Him. He still loved Apostle Paul. Even though Apostle Paul do not love Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ loves Apostle Paul. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. Jesus loves you, sister. You need Bible? Okay. Our God is awesome God. 
God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior. Yes, He's good. Yes, He's alive. Jesus Christ loves you. Amen. So we've come together now. We divide ourselves into two. Now we are joining together. It's a great of evangelism. Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord. So when he comes, there is no excuse. No excuse. Amen. Jesus, I never heard your word. Yes. Jesus, I didn't know. No more excuse. Jesus, I didn't. You knew because we are here telling you today yes. that Jesus is here. He's here. He's alive. He's alive. He's coming. He's coming. For his people. Amen. Not the chosen one. Yes. Sorry, not the called one. He's coming for the chosen. Yes. Many are called. Mm. Only a few. Are you the few? Are you the few? Jesus love us. Are you the few? Be the few that is to be, will be Are saved. Are you the few that is coming? Be the few that will be saved. In the book of Second Chronicles 7, Amen. 13. May God bless you as you listen. If to I Jesus send name. Amen. an epidemic,